Hi everybody, this is Doug at Willy Nilly's. I'm going to show you real quick how to build a, the new honker wing. It's real, real simple and goes real, real quick. Uh, for your wing parts, you'll have the aft sheet and the leading edge sheet. Just pop those apart. Away. Just go ahead and pop out your uh, little slots here. those out. Remember to keep your kit bag as a gluing surface because the uh, cyanoacrylate glue will not stick to it. So we don't have to worry about spilling glue. Okay, uh, other parts to the wing. These are your ribs. Make sure I'm getting this in. Okay, here's the ribs and these are center section doublers. I'll show you those a little bit later but for now go ahead and pop your your ribs out don't uh, separate it at this dashed line yet I'll tell you when to do that but uh, you want to separate them so that they look like that okay so set three aside keep three with you all right, now on the honker wing, I like to, uh, if there's any scorched edges or anything, I like to put those to the, to the top of the wing. Uh, we're going to be building from the bottom. So real simple, you lay your aft sheet down and your rib, you stick one in the slot there, stick one in the slot there. Another one there. Then take your thin CA and run a bead on each rib. Make sure you have the uh, the balsa sheet flat on the building board. This will keep your wing straight. Okay, that should be set up. Now you'll have a little bit of a tab on each one of these. It only takes like one or two little passes to knock those off. Don't worry about getting all the ch all the char. The char actually helps the glue joint. All right, so now you line up the tabs and slots and your rib. It's a really, really tight fit, real close tolerance, so you have to wiggle it just a little bit to get it in place. But you'll know when it does. So you'll want to uh, make sure that the sheets are fully seated against the top of each rib. You'll have to push and, and pull just a little bit to, to get it fully seated. like we got it so again holding the sheet the leading edge sheet flat we'll glue the ribs in place give that a second then take your thin ca on the bottom of the wing and fill e each of these tabs and slots. Let it wick in there. Doesn't take a whole lot of glue. Okay. All right, so we're going to set this aside for a second. This can be right now, it can be a left or a right wing. 
we're going to do the same thing here for the other wing panel. Rib. 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 Make sure your seat's flat. We're going to be the glue on each rib. Knock these tabs off. That ought to do it. And then we'll put that side out. And we'll start lining these up. And gently pushing in place. Like I said, it's a real, real tight tolerance fit that we've designed into this. So you just got to kind of work with it a little bit to get it to fully seat. But once it does, it's locked in there. Tell you what. The thing you want to make sure of also is the... When, you'll know when it's fully sheeted also because the top here will line up with the back edge. The two sheets will line up good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. We'll uh, make sure our sheet's flat. Glue a rib. Glue a rib. And glue this last one. Should be set up and then we'll run a, a bead of glue on each of these cabin slots. Again, it doesn't take a whole lot because it's a real tight fit. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. Okay. So right now we have two wing panels that can be a left or a right. What I would suggest you do is lay both of them like this for this next step because this next step will determine whether it's a left or a right. Right now we're going to take out these wing doublers, the center section doublers. The long ones go on the aft sheet. Let's take that tab off of there. One goes there. Goes there. And then you'll have two short ones, and those go on the leading edge in the center section. What this does is it, it doubles up the thickness of the wood there so that you have more gluing surface for that center joint. It makes it really, really strong. Uh, no other dihedral brace or anything's needed by doing this. So, what you do, use a medium CA. That way you got a couple seconds to, to play with it. You'll want to line it up at the edge. Of the sheet flush flush with the inboard side. It's OK if it hangs over just a little bit, but try to make it as flush as possible. OK, now that that's in place. We'll, uh, Glue the forward one. You can be fairly liberal with the glue on this. This is a, a structural thing that we're doing here. Okay, that was done. And repeat on the other wing. Make, making sure that you're making a right and a left wing. We will have uh, wing kits available for those that, that like to build two left wings or two right wings at a time. So it's no worries, even if you do. Okay. So 
Okay, so we're just about done with the corner here. We will give that a spritz just to make her dry up quicker. Oof. Strong stuff. Okay, so on the honker kit, on your bulkhead sheet, you'll see this funny looking thing that's got a couple numbers on it. But we're, uh, this is your sanding and gluing gauge for for your dihedral. Okay, so you want to find that. And what, what we'll do is there should be some excess on your bulkhead sheet. Cut you off a width of it about an inch wide. And then we're going to glue this right in the middle. So I'll take some medium. Glue we'll right on there. Not wanting to set up on it. Okay, so now I'll show you how to use this handy dandy little contraption. Okay, we're going to sand the dihedral into the wing. You'll want to, there's a 6 and a 12, depending on which side you're looking at. The 6, the first notch, is what we use to sand in the dihedral. And there's my sander block. Use the edge, edge of your building board. Line it up. Okay. You'll know when you've sanded just enough because all the scorch marks will be gone. I need to put some new sandpaper on my sanding block. It's a little bit worn. But just keep a, a light pressure on there. So there, we got that one. Now we'll do the, the other wing. Repeating the same, same procedure, same thing. Oh, you know what? We should have broke these uh these off. Those are there just to make it easier to uh, get them glued in place. We need to remove these be before you uh, sand the dihedral in. Right now, it won't have as much dihedral as it would normally. So once you do that, you can do it. Sand just enough to take your stars off. Repeat. Okay, so we will re-sand this dihedral joint. Sorry about that. I say, uh... <coughs> Guess I can show you how not to do it, too. It shouldn't take much. Yeah, that looks good. Now we'll do the other side.
Okay, that looks really good. So now, all that's left is to join the two wing panels. And uh, excuse my messy bench. This is where the second notch on here comes into play. Because that will set your 12 degrees. And if you sanded it good, it should line right up and have a nice glue joint. What I do, what I've done on the prototypes is I'll put a dab of glue on the leading sheeting and one on the back, just to tack it in place. What's well, hot in here? Starting to sweat. And once that's happened, and I'm happy with the fit, I will run a, a generous bead all the way around. Let it soak into that wood real good. And you'll see that Since we put a lot on there, I'm going to fire it off. Okay, so the only thing left to do to the wing now is your final sand. Uh, it's mostly just rounding the leading edge. You want it round. And where these two sheets come together, you want to sand those flat. It doesn't take, take very long at all. Show you here real quick. Round, round those over. Give everything a nice smooth sand. Okay, now on the lead edges, we want to round those. We want them round, completely round. So. Take a second and do this. Very important. Really makes a difference in the flight performance. Round edge versus square edge. Okay, so. Let's see if I can get this. What we're looking for. Is that right there? See how the leading edge is nice and round? And it's, it's smooth across the top. You want to do that on both sides. And it's, you can round the wing tips a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you're ready. The wing is done. Uh, if you use uh, ironing film on this wing, you'll have to do top and bottom. If you do just top, it'll make, make the sheet warp up when you shrink it. Okay, uh, I highly recommend using just a couple light coats of Krylon or spray paint. Um, dope, if you have it, butyrate dope. Um, you can use tissue. Uh, any kind of the alternate lightweight coatings. The, the main thing is you want to keep everything really, really light. Uh, the best system I found so far is a really light coat of clear spray paint. Let that dry for 20, 30 minutes. Uh, give it a, a real light sand with 400 grit sandpaper uh, just to smooth it out, but you don't want to take that paint that you put on there off, but it'll smooth it out a lot. And then uh, come back with the second coat of clear, and that's when it really starts looking nice. At that point, you can uh, take Sharpie markers and, and decorate it. Um, you can you can even use Sharpie markers to to color the whole thing. Uh, we we've done that also. Uh, it's just a matter of how much time you want to spend on it. Uh, it's a real quick build. Otherwise, um, you probably spend as much time figuring out how you want to finish it as you do build it. So, but that's the wing. That's really how easy it is. Um, if I hadn't messed up, it probably only would have been about five or ten minutes I'm guessing but uh, there you go uh, we'll get the uh, fuselage built done as quick as we can and get this uh, 
Uh, well, these will be available at uh, Muncie, the Balsa 250 event this coming weekend, and at Small in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. So be looking for more information and updates on these, and we'll post them as just as fast as we can. Thank you.